Welcome to this quick demonstration of our radiation protection virtual reality application. I will quickly demonstrate the most important features for you to make up your own mind if you're interested in using this for education purposes. Let's start with my hands. I have them here. I can use the virtual reality controllers to grab things and click at things. Um, for example, I can choose my protective equipment, which I will do later. And I can also click things like this little question mark over here. Let's move into a more realistic position. And let's choose one of two interventions. Let's go with the diagnostic coronary angiography for now. As you will see, all of the interactions happen automatically. So we can focus on the radiation. Let's scan the patient to see if the catheter is inserted correctly is let's start the recording and you will see a little summary here of the total effective dose that i received during this intervention now let's put on some protective equipment which is located here And let's try the same thing again, but from a greater distance. And now we can see the new total effective dose. All of these playthroughs are also stored over here. So you can see this is my most recent one and this is the one before which gives me all the summary and the protected body, body regions as well and you can also save those to a spreadsheet to have some more data on your students let's now work a little bit with the c-arm let's first bring up the controls panel switch on the radiation and as you can see, we can follow the radiation as it bounces through the room. It's also color coded. So all the red lines are high energy and high risk. And the green lines are low energy, low risk. We can switch to blue coloration as well for people who are colorblind. Change the ray length. so We can see a little better and also switch ray visibility, collimation level, and so on. Also, as you might have noticed, on my right hand, I have some effective dose rate constantly, so I can really look how that changes when I move through the room, move closer to the source or farther away. All of these things, of course, help raise awareness where to stand, what to wear, and how to adjust the device. I can also adjust the different portions of the CR manually. In this case, I unlocked this axis and I can now move it freely. And the radiation, of course, will follow the new orientation of the device. There's also under the table protection that I can use. A small glass pane. And a bigger one over here. That I can grab, adjust and hide behind. Lastly, over here, there's a little graph showing the dose rate over time. And I can also bring up a more detailed version of my little measurement widget over here that gives me more detailed 
measurements for all the different body regions of myself and also an overall dose of the patient. Those, of course, will also change if I move closer or change the gear I'm wearing. That's it for now. If you have any questions, reach out to the contacts provided in the video description and have a nice day.